Hi, Martin here. I was thinking about doing some porting and polishing on these cylinder heads. And uh, on the intake runners themselves, you know, how well does this intake manifold line up with the intake runners on the cylinder head? And there's no real way, easy way to tell. Um, because they use an O-ring type gasket like, you know, you see in a lot of the plastic intake manifolds of today. And it's a lot larger than the intake runner itself. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way how to determine does this intake manifold line up with those intake ports and can we remove any material and if even if you were going to remove some material from this this will also show you how to transfer that to the intake manifold. Alright, well let's get started. Alright, first thing we got to do is make a pattern for these intake runners right here. We're going to do this for both cylinder heads. And then we can transfer that pattern to the intake manifold and see where we line up at. Okay, what I did is I just grabbed, if this is a uh, protein box product that I buy, and I just took the box apart. And this is the perfect type of material to make this template with. And then I cut out a strip long enough to go over the portion of the intake runners right here and just wide enough. And now, all you need is a ball peen hammer. All right, now that I got this piece here, cut out, cut, cut it out pretty much to length, a little bit long. And now, just square it on the, square it up on the uh, edges of the ports here. And the first thing I want to do is mark out some of the bolt holes. I know there's one right down here. Now with one of the bolts holes cut out, I'm going to go ahead and stick a bolt in here. That's going to help secure it, keep it from doing any shifting. And then go ahead and mark out the rest of them. And uh, we're going to just do the same process and just lightly tap on the edge. Take your time doing this. And you see it starts cutting it out. I'm also going to mark out this one bolt hole here on the end. OK, 
Okay, and there we made a perfect template from these intake ports, and now we can transfer this to the intake manifold. Okay, I flipped it over, transferred it onto the intake, and I held it on with just a couple bolts. Now I'll show you what we come up with. Okay, as you can see, it lines up really nice. I'm pretty impressed as far as, you know, for a factory intake to intake runners, it lines up really sweet. Now I see just a little bit right there. I don't know if you can see that or not with not a very good contrast here, but right there's like a little lip. But this is not a big deal. At least the intake runners on the cylinder head are larger than the ones on the on the intake manifold themselves. I mean they line up super nice. Alright, so what this has told me that I when I start my porting, not to touch anything right up here at the edge. Don't open that up. Do all my work into the runner and into the pockets of these cylinder heads. So this simple little method gave me quite a bit of information. So I know my intake runners here to the intake manifold line up really well and not to mess with that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. That helps out the channel big time. And if you've never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of my next and upcoming episodes. And I'm also a Amazon affiliate. Please check out the links down below in the description where you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and the channel earns a small commission. I really appreciate that. Thanks again and we will see you on the next one.